how's it going? How's life? My name is Diavion Johnson and I'm bringing you another video. So if you guys want to see all that I'm going to put in my shower, all that I have to put in my shower, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, this is currently what I have in the shower. You guys would have recently saw that I did a haul for Marshall's TJ Maxx and Ulta and I just picked up this Protein Plus Body Polish. I've used it once. Um, I also said that in that video that I was dropping it out a lot so I felt some type of way about it. It was $5.99 at TJ Maxx. I have that in my shower so that's going to come out. I have this Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash. Um, that's gonna come out as well as this method body coconut rice milk shea butter body wash um, Simply nourish. Uh, I like this one a lot. It's almost done So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this during the springtime in order to get that out of my collection and put it in in the empties but right now that's not going to be in my shower anymore once the season is over this dove exfoliating body polish i already finished one and this is my second one so i i'm going to take this one out as well i also have this candy cane body wash from native the earl gray and mulberry now that one that could really be used year round that could for sure be used for spring in my opinion but like i said i want to put some more stuff in my shower in order to get the usage out of that so i'm going to take it out i also have this i slay all day from onyx bathhouse um the winter blossom with apricot oil uh that one was a very strong and potent flower scent and I'm not necessarily the biggest floral fan, but I feel as though um, Onyx Bath Houses, their scents are very hit and misses. So the fact that that one was very strong, once you finally put it in your skin, it kind of died down to a very light, light scent that stayed on your skin compared to all their other ones that I've used, like the, the green apple scrub or, you know, their marshmallow scrub. Those never really last. So that one was actually um, pretty good even though I'm not the biggest fan of the scent. I'm also going to take out this oat milk latte from Native, as well as the Matcha Sweet Cream Body Wash. Okay, so on the other side of my shower, I have this eczema prone skin, which is gonna stay in the shower. I'm honestly almost done with this. It's probably like right here. Um, I really like the eczema prone skin one. Like I've said before, I have eczema prone skin, so I do like to pick up products like that. That's not too expensive. I also have this cocoa butter and oat milk one. I tried to get through it a lot, so that's why it's like down so far, but this was not my favorite scent. I don't really like this one, so after it's done, I probably won't be purchasing it, it again, but um yeah that's gonna come out my shower the only thing that's staying in the shower so far is this eczema prone skin one from olay this winter care is coming out the shower and this snow blossom from dove is coming out the shower as well i have these dr teal's oils i'm still trying to get through this one i'm almost done some of this fell out okay like i end up dropping it in the shower and the top end up breaking and then um most a lot of the oil like this much of oil came out and i really felt some type of way but it's all right we're almost done with it, as well as this almond oil cleansing oil from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna keep that in the shower. I'm gonna keep everything on this shelf in the shower until I'm done with it. Okay, so down here, I'm just gonna show you the body washes because everything else is just um, what I have. It's not really um, seasonal stuff. It's just all the stuff that I have from that certain collection like my my scrubs and my body lotions those are already down here so it's not seasonal it's like all year round this one i'm gonna take out this winter walk winter berry from soft soap as well as the peppermint path from soft soap i'm gonna take that out of here and put it on my caddy that i'm gonna show you later i'm also gonna take off this soft soap shea and almond oil now this one I feel as though I may use this throughout the spring and summer times, but like right now, I'm gonna take it out to start getting more use out of the other stuff that I have. Um, I also have this Olay Ultra Moisture Note to Turmeric Golden Milk Body Wash. I like this one. I'm gonna take this out as well. I also have the Sugar Cookie from Native. I'm gonna take out the Moisture Ribbons Plus uh, 
shade notes of manuka honey olay body wash as well as this big saint ives oatmeal and shea butter body wash as well now this dove body wash mousse it's not really seasonal it just had like the the colors that i was going for so i kept it in here this probably will still be used i used it i don't really use it for shaving because i don't really shave like that so it's i need to get some more usage out of this so this may stay okay guys you guys saw what was in my shower everything that was in my shower i now have it on top of my sink and basically I'm going to put it back in their designated areas um, basically I'm now about to go into these bags I filled up my uh, two Trader Joe bags as well as this Kato bag from that shop my stash that you guys just saw um, it's the video before this and um, I'm going to take some of these spring scents and stuff like that and decide to put them in my sh actual shower as well as underneath my sink so that I can get prepared for the spring season. Okay guys, so I moved out the fall and winter items and I put the spring items down here underneath my sink. I'm gonna show you guys what I have. Um, in this little tote thing that I got from Dollar Tree, I also wasn't able to fit a couple of, well actually a few body washes in there, but that's fine. Of course, I will still have it on my mind to try to get some use out of it throughout the spring. But of course I knew that everything was gonna wasn't gonna fit in my shower and down here but i'm glad that i was able to get at least most of it in here the ones that weren't able to fit was this pink vanilla wish from bodycology this olay uh notes of manuka honey with cocoa butter this rim pure peach blossom and this wasn't a spring body wash, but once I'm finished with my eczema prone skin from Olay, I'll probably switch that one out with this one because it's more of a basic scent. But it's the turmeric and tonka essence body wash from Love Beauty and Planet. Now moving on to what I actually was able to fit down here and um, what I'm going to be using for spring. I have this plum blossom from Soft Soap, the cactus water and bamboo from Olay, the eucalyptus and spirulina from Olay as well. The orchid and cashmere orchid from Nivea. This powder and cotton from Native. Fresh peach cupcake. This sweet pea. This sweet pea and violet from Suave. Springtime in Paris from Suave. Spring awakening from Suave. And the last ones are the Caress Body Wash, which I have the Jasmine and Lavender Oil one, as well as the Pink Lotus and Charcoal one. This is what I have on the one side of my shower. I have this Olay Eczema Prone Skin one, which I had it in there before. Um, I just want to finish this up as well as I'm going to go on like a week of no scents and this is going to be the body wash that I mainly use in order to get my skin back together and then I'm going to start making it to where I'm using a basic body wash every other day like I was doing in the very beginning and then using a scented routine the other days because doing a scented routine every single day kind of messed up my skin for a little bit so I kind of want to give my skin a rest and kind of give it a little bit more TLC right okay moving on we have this dove body wash basically this is all dove um, and just this random Olay body wash but this is the avocado oil and calendula extract I have the morning blossom as well as the blue fig and orange blossom on the second shelf I have the dr. Teal's bath and body oil um, the melatonin one, I want to get 
rid of this one during the spring season because I was able to get through a, one of the Dr. Teal's one as well as another body oil. I do have another bath and bath and body oil that I have um, from Province Beauty, but that one was glass. And I didn't want to put it in my shower at all. I usually don't put body washes on this shelf, but I decided to put this here, this coconut hibiscus one from Bodycology because I also wanted to finish the in shower body conditioner from Shea Moisture in the scent coconut and hibiscus. So I just went ahead and did that. I also have my shampoo and stuff like that and my little shower tools. So nothing special right here. This is what I have that's kind of like spring related. On the other side of my shower, I decided to put this pure Castile soap. Now this this now this pure Castile soap, I usually use it as a base clean. Um, my holy grail is Dove Bar Soaps. We used to use the pink bar soap, um, the Rosa one, but then we switched to the Cucumber one because I think one time we went to the store and it wasn't there anymore. So we ended up going to Cucumber one and that one was one that we stayed with because we really liked that one. So right now I just have this sensitive bar soap in my shower, but uh, I, will, I have some other bar soaps from Dove. I'm just gonna mainly use Dove bar soaps as my base clean. But before I use a Dove bar soap, I want to go in with this Pure Castile soap to, um, get down on this because this is not like a regular body wash to where I use it scented or anything like that. It's more something that really that is really gonna get you super clean. So I got this from Marshalls and I decided to put it in my shower in order to give myself two base cleans before I go in with a regular moisturizing body wash or um, a scented routine. Okay, so on my shower caddy, the bottom shelf, this is the soap that I use for my downstairs area so um that doesn't really matter i already had that in here this one i'm going to get some use out of the method body um chamomile star flower and blue lavender one i also have this deep detox in here i was able to go through the coconut one which i showed you guys in my shower like what i had in my shower before i switched out but like now it's not there anymore because it's it's in my empties so yeah i'm going to finish this for sure throughout the three months as well as i have this peony rose water and pink sea salt one in here i decided to come in here and put this some scrubs in here so i came and put the body prescriptions wild berry exfoliating body scrub this is one of my favorite scents from body prescriptions because their scents are very hit or misses for me i don't know why but i decided to put that in here i also put a couple of tree hut scrubs in here i put the green tea one as well as the moroccan rose I have two rose body washes in here, so it made sense to put this Moroccan rose in here. I also have for my last body wash, as well as the last thing that's in my shower, this rose water and pink sea salt scrub and wash. So yeah, that's basically what's in my shower. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys like this content. Hopefully you guys like the video that I had to offer. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can use up my product and things like that, then um, you know, of course, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and most definitely subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.